Do you need a new bow for your next cosplay? Either a small one for your hair, or a large gravity-defying one for your outfit? Well, there's about a hundred ways to make a bow, but this is how I make mine. What you'll need. Fabric. I'm using a cotton base and pairing it with this cute dotted net overlay from Spotlight. Interfacing. Marker. Ruler. Scissors. Matching needle and thread. And a sewing machine. Also, pins might come in handy. First up, decide how big you want your bow to be. I decided I wanted each loop to be 12 centimeters outwards from the center to the side and 8 centimeters high. I timed the height by 2 and added 2 centimeters for seam allowance. For the loop width, I timed it by 2. That meant that I needed two rectangles of 24 centimeters by 18 centimeters. Getting out my interfacing, I measured and marked the rectangles. Then I cut them out. As I'm using iron-on interfacing for this project, I grabbed my iron and ironing board and adhered the interfacing to the cotton base. This made it super easy to cut out the rectangles. Once the cotton base was cut out, it was time for the overlay. I stress most of the bows I've made in the past don't have this step, but I just thought it was too cute and I loved the overlook of the two fabrics together. I pinned the cut rectangles onto the net and then cut around them, leaving some extra fabric in case of shifting. Then I sewed the two layers together with a half centimeter seam allowance. And then I trimmed the excess net off. With the rectangle now prepared, fold the rectangle in half. Make sure you are halving the height as the length should stay the same. In my case here, 24 centimeters. Then go ahead and sew that down with a one centimeter seam allowance. Turn the rectangle right side out, place the seam in the center, and press with the iron. The next thing to do is create a large box pleat in the center. This is where pins come in handy if you have them on hand. Pin the box pleat in position on both sides of the rectangle. Fold the rectangle in half to check that the box pleats are in about the same position and that the ends are roughly about the same length. Adjust if necessary. Grab your needle and thread and lock those box pleats in place. Then fold the rectangle in half and sew those two ends together. That's one loop done. Now repeat again with the other rectangle. Once you have both loops prepared, sew them together at the center. Pull only tight enough to bring the two loops together. Next up is to create the fake knot. Measure out what you think would look good. For this project, I'm thinking two and a half centimeters is the way to go. Once again, I times this by two and add two centimeters for seam allowance. I decided that I need the length to be about 10 centimeters, but it's better to go over rather than under as you can always cut excess fabric off. Next, mark up the measurements directly onto your fabric. There's no need for interfacing for such a small piece of fabric that doesn't have to hold a shape like the loops. And cut it out. Just like the loops, I'm covering it with the net overlay. So I cut out the net, sew and trim. Next, fold the piece in half long ways. Sew with the one centimeter seam allowance and then turn it right side out. Place the seam in the middle again. Place the piece over the center. On the back, sew down one end. Then once that is secure, fold the other end over to seal in the raw edges and sew that down too. If you're wanting to make a very large bow, the process is slightly different. No need for interfacing. Instead, cut your fabric to the length you need it. As before, sew it with a one centimeter seam allowance, turn it right side out and iron the seam in the center. Now, cut a piece of buckram that is slightly narrower than the finished loop measurement in height, but has the same as the total length as the loop. Insert this into the center of the fabric loop. Then go ahead and create the box pleats again. Continue with all previous steps from before. And there you have it, your own crazy big gravity defying bow or the sweet accessory to complete your look. In terms of attaching it, you can attach it any which way you see fit. Sew it, glue it, attach it with a hair clip, whichever way works for your project. I hope this tutorial has helped you, and if you liked it, please consider giving me a thumbs up, and for more tutorials and cosplay content, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page.